welcome back to a new video. It's been a long time since the last video, um, nearly a year or so now. I'm very sorry for that, but um, I was very busy and so, you know, family and uh, normal day work and the bands and all the things going on. So all the YouTube stuff was on position 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or somewhere else. So uh, yeah, today I do a video, I show you a video which um, I planned I guess the last 9 months uh, to shoot. So I will do so. Um, it's a video about Music Man guitars. Um, yeah, so we take this one right now. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about a Music Man Axis AX and Music Man original Music Man EVH guitars. There are a lot of rumors uh, out there, and it's really hard to find really concrete. Um, yeah, concrete uh, messages from uh, Ernie Ball, Music Man, um, from the company itself. So what I've read over the years and um, about these guitars and uh, did a lot of research for it, this. Um, yeah, the rumors are, or in another YouTube video I found the last week, someone said, um, that this Music Man EX guitars made in Japan are like the real deal, like the original EVH guitars um, by Music Man, which were built between 1990 and 1995, I guess. Um, and after that, um, the other guy in the video said, Music Man shit all the bodies and the, the leftover bodies after Eddie Van Halen uh, left Music Man uh, and went over to PV um, and the necks and all the stuff over to Japan and they produced um, the Music Man Axis EX guitars. Um, yeah, that's what he said and he said this is the real deal. Um, no, this is not the real deal. Don't get me wrong, these guitars are not bad. No way, no way. They're great guitars, but they are not made like the original EVH guitars, um, which were built by Music Man in St. Louis Obispo. Um, yeah, what I found out is that Music Man did supply a Japanese company or the Japanese distributor um, with hardware. The original Goto, um, the original pickups like on the EVH model, the original Scholler tuners, you can see. I hope so. A lot of reflection. Um, normally, shoot my videos by daylight, but now it's uh, a night time and I have to work with some <coughs> unusual lightning here. So, yes. Um, and they ship the neck plates as well. And so, they said. Okay, go ahead and build for the Japanese market um, the Music Man EX Access guitar. Um, yeah, and they did, but they didn't use the same bodies and they didn't use the same necks. Um, as far as I um, have read about this, is that the Japanese company. Um, used 
the Japanese woods or Japanese woods or wherever they get the woods, whoever knows, and produce the body and the neck itself by itself and build them together and use the original US made or in case from Schaller German made hardware in the original DiMarzio pickups um, and screwed on the Music Man neck plates. So this guitar does not say St. Louis Obispo on the headstock, on the back of the headstock. And this guitar only says Music Man, Ernie Music Man on the front of the headstock. No other logo over here, no access, no EVH signature, nothing. Um, yes, it is a bird's eye maple neck. Hope you can see it. Man, the lightning kills me. Um, and yes, it's a bird's eye maple fretboard. But if you want to know when these guitars were made, with the original US music bands, you can go to their website on the forum um, and give them the serial number, serial number of your guitar, and you get an answer, man, this guitar is built on blah 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 blah. Not with this EX neck plate uh, serial numbers. There is no, uh, Music Man says, there is no, um, no list um, about which number has uh, used for these guitars and when they were built. So, um, yeah. Why can I say this is not the real deal? Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, come on. Uh, a few of you may have seen an older video. Okay, so this is the real deal. As you can see, the EVH signature on the headstock. Unibol Music Man as well as made in St. Louis Obispo Music Man EVH Trans Black Quill Top and the serial says it was built on the 24th of December in 1991 so it's uh, built on Christmas Eve those days, back in those days, and yes, they did it on these days. Um, this is the real deal. So, let's come to the differences between both guitars. Now I come closer to you. So, maybe you can see it. Um, we have so can I hold this? Yeah, should work. The body size of the Music Man this is the Music Man EX and this is the black EVH. So the body size or thickness is a bit more as on the EVH. So the EVH body is a little bit thinner. Um, the binding around the body, you cl can clearly see, is smaller on the Axis AX as on the original Eddie Van Halen. Um, I guess maybe even the maple top on, oops, on the EVH Music Man is thicker as on the Axis EX, but I really can't tell you because I didn't uh, unscrew the pickups from the guitars. So, and I will not, um, because they sound great. Uh, yeah, otherwise, um, the body shape is the same. There's nothing which feels different. And the most important thing, the pickup switch is in the right position. 
So, this is for the body. A little bit thicker, a little bit thinner binding, and as I said, maybe a little bit thinner, thinner maple top. But the most, or the biggest difference, um, is the neck. The neck size, size, the fatness, thickness of the of the neck here. Yeah. The, as I unboxed it, as I got this guitar, as I unboxed it, took it in my hands, the neck feel felt right by the shaping, by the size of the fretboard and maybe if you're familiar with these guitars the axis the US axis got um, a wider fretboard because people complained that the high E string was slipping off or the low E string was slipping off the fretboard so they on the EVH guitars. So they put a wider, made the, the, the fretboard a bit wider on the original US axis, um, which I recognize right away because I played this black EVH now since 25 years or so, 23 years, 25 years I would say. Um, no, I didn't got it new, I bought it used, but it was only one or two years old. Um, yes, so, it's my main guitar since then, um, and I'm so used to it, and my mind knows how the neck should feel in my hand. So when I pick up an Axis guitar, and the shape is the same, and the, you, the holding, you hold it on, on, on your leg, or uh, put it around uh, with a strap and it feels at the first moment it feels like it is the same guitar and then I grab the neck and then my hands tell me nope there is something strange going on because my mind says hey this should be feel like this but it doesn't okay back to topic um, on this guitar, the neck felt right, the size of the fretboard to me felt right, hey. um, but the neck itself was way thicker, way thicker. So I sand it down, yes, I unscrewed the neck from this guitar, took sandpaper and sanded it down, not as thin as it is right now on my EVH music man. I guess the neck was a bit thicker as well as I got it but uh, over the time and you clean it up and you always do a little bit of sanding to get the the rough dirt out of the wood again and yeah by the time you sand down the neck a bit. Um, so this guitar really has a uh, a tiny neck I would say but it feels still great um, okay so I didn't send it as much down as it is on the EVH but I sanded it down a, a bit um, it's still more but it feels now right to me um, and not only the thickness of the neck is a difference um, sorry for a lot of talking by the way um, the fretboards of the Musicman Axis EX are finished with a thin lacquer finish. The, when you took a look around and you see the pictures of these guitars um, which are offered for sale, you will recognize that the neck itself may look dirty. Ah, oh, the camera went off. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Um, Finish on the fretboard, lacquered. Uh, I've seen uh, in the last few days. I've seen a few Axis EX offered uh, where you can really see um, 
where the lacquer already is gone on the fretboard and the fretboard looks a bit weird on this um, on this frets. Okay, but um, the the lacquer is not thick. It's a really thin uh, finish. So I said, okay, while sending the neck down on the back, let's do it on the front as well and send off the lacquer finish of the fretboard. Um, after that I gave this guitar, this neck, uh, two or three coats of um, gunstock oil and let it sit and af afterwards the classic Music Man wax so that it gets shiny again and feels nice and smooth and everything is fine now. Yeah, but these are the main differences between the Axis EX and the Music Man EVH guitar. They, when you do all this stuff I did, they really feel the same, really feel the same. Sound wise, I mean, hey, it's the same pickups, the same hardware, um, the same woods, maybe coming from another country, but hey, it's still basswood with a maple top. Um, sound wise, I have to say, I really can't tell you that this babe here sounds bad at all. No. Um, the red one really has a bit more bite and aggressiveness to it compared to the black one. Um, but... Uh, change again. Wait a minute. But... Um, I have had another original EVH made on the same day also made on the 24th of December in 91 um, which was a red flame top and the red flame top sounded no other the other way around this babe here sounds a bit darker as the red one as the red EVH I got in the past as an access uh, a regular access I owned and so on. So I don't ask me why. I don't know. It's, it's still what I mean. It's a natural product, yeah. And guitars only sound really sound the the same if both bodies and necks uh, come from the same tree, were treated the same during the whole process. And yeah then they are really really close but I have a few Music Man Steve Morse Y2Ds, uh, Tremolo, Hardtails and so on um, a bunch of few, uh, a bunch of, of uh, both variations and there as well they, they don't sound the same they all have their own character um, one is more bright uh, one has more low end to it so yeah it's wood uh, and so it is with these guitars um, they have the same character no matter what the pickups do this yeah I mean let's hear it and that you know what we are wait a minute I have to cook okay 10 minutes to go so yeah um, by the way the sound you're hearing today um, is coming from the Mesa Boogie DZ5 but only the power amp it's a 6 or 6 power amp uh, 50 watts I use a more 5150 pedal it's the 005 number from the preamp series. Um, I guess it's called 5050. Or was it? Yeah, 5053 it's called. Um, wait, I, I show you. Yeah, 
Yeah, hum coming from the end because no signal is going in. This is the pedal. The more... Fi oh, mind, the lightning is killing me. The 50... 53. Cool pedal for the pros. Two channels, blue and the red one. Uh, to be honest, I think the blue channel of this pedal could have a bit more gain. It's very low gainy. You will hear it right away. And yeah, and I'm running this um, Signal Ghost guitar into Cork uh, DT DT10 old school tuner. Um, through an EVH, um, EVH uh, flanger pedal, through an MXR Wild Overdrive, both are off right now, into the 5053 pedal and from there into the 606 power amp of the DC5. mic up Harley Benton Vintage 30 cap with an Harley Benton ribbon mic and an SM57. Is it? Oh! I forgot. After the preamp and before the power amp there's a Blux made by Stag analog delay in between. But it's off as well and it should have a true butter so it shouldn't affect the sound at all. Uh, okay, the blue channel on the paddle, EVH guitar, bridge position. Oh, the D tuner. Hey, it was in tune before I started the video. Let's go over to the Red Axis EX. Direct 101. Without the delay. So you noticed more gain coming from the pedal. This guitar has more power, more bite, more, a bit more balls, um, don't know why. <laughs> Delay on, long hairs are strange, I guess. And the red one likes the red channel. The red channel of the 5053 pedal with the red axis is. <laughs> Switch over to the 
black EVH, my beloved guitar. Go. guitars have new unibald 10 to 52 strings and that's the reason why the detuner doesn't work um, fine 100% accurate because the strings are I think the detuner was made for a regular 9 uh, uh, 09 guitar string set uh, with a 42 E string or maximum for um, 10 to 46 but not 52 um, the neck um, moves a little bit due to the loss of the tension while skipping from E to D and you notice that all the other strings go up a bit. Um, yeah, but it works. With a bit fine tuning. <laughs> Just to give you an idea how both guitars sound and yes if you have the chance to get one of those EVH guitars get one if you have the money if you have the chance to get one of those Axis EX guitars and you want to achieve the original feeling, get one, send the neck a bit down, send off the lacquer from the fretboard and you will get what you um, expect you would get. And this for uh, half to... Uh, what? What's the street price for used EVH? I guess around 3000 uh, at the moment. Um, between 2 and 3000 uh, euros or US dollars or what else. And you can get an Axis EX from Japan for around uh, 1000 or 1200 US dollars. Um, plus shipping, plus uh, import tax and go on, go ahead, go on, come on. Um, I mean, you can get a really, really, really cool EVH style with a pickup switch in the right position guitar uh, for the half or less as the half price as you have to pay for the original EVH. And yes, I got myself this one because I wanted to give my black one EVH a rest. As I said before, I really played this guitar a lot of miles, a lot of years it was my number one guitar and you can feel it, this guitar has mo Oh man I hate it, 15 minutes and the camera goes off. Okay, part 3 now. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it has a lot of miles on it. Uh, the frets are really, they're not really down and not worn, but they have a lot of, a um, lot of work done and a lot of strings 
string contact. So maybe I should uh, give the black one a uh, new refracting, but I don't want to because I want to keep it original as long as possible. So, and that's the reason why I got myself uh, this Axis EX. First of all, I wanted to try it out. I wanted to know, is it or is it not like the original EVH? Where are the differences? Does it really sound that different? And in the second row, I wanted just to have a guitar I can play, which feels like the same and give the the real babe um, a rest. I still use it live but um, for all the rehearsal stuff and so on I use the Axis EX um, and I'm really happy with it. So if you can get your hand, if you want one of these guitars and you can get your hands on one of those. Get one. Yeah. But don't forget, it's not the real deal. It's still a great guitar and I would prefer it over to my, to me, I would prefer it over in uh, Music Man US made access. Um, the only downside, you can get it only used. And these guitars there are a lot of them on eBay from Japan coming and they all are played. They really have miles on it as well. And the mo mostly, mostly, most of them have really bad dings and dogs like this here. I uh, put some black color over here because there was the wood uh, coming through and scratches and nicks, stings, um, here, 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 cuts and even here. So it's hard, hard to see because I try to make it invisible as possible. Put on some red color and let some clear lack flowing into the cut here. It's still there bother me. I want to play this thing. It's not for putting uh, into a museum or so. It's a player's guitar as well as my black one is a player's guitar. My black one has so many dings and dongs on it. It's unbelievable. Um, but it still plays great and it still sounds great. I hope you could hear it. So yes, this is it for now. A lot of talking in this video. Less playing this time. But, um, yeah, I want to give you the information about the differences of those guitars um, and that you can hear the differences of uh, the guitars. But for that, put up, uh, take uh, another EVH Music Man US made and they will sound different to both of them here. Um, so, as I said before, it's all about the woods which makes the tone. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, bye.